So with footies being an FC24 right now, we are well and truly in the end game. With most people's teams looking somewhat something like this, high rated cards, crazy footy SBCs, maybe even a 99 rated Erling Haaland floating about. I thought it would be good fun for one last time. And this is the last time it's going to happen this year until FC25 to drop a my top five players in each position video. So let's go. But before we like properly dive into it, like gold time. Okay, we've hit some mad milestones this year. I want to end this little kind of, you know, series off with 80 likes within the first hour. 80 likes, first hour. You can do it. For cheap and fast FC24 Ultimate Team Coins, head over to MMOEXP.com, link down below, and make sure to use my code Morsi at checkout to get yourself 5% off. So goalkeepers, we go. And to be fair, it's not changed a lot since the last time we did this. I'm pretty certain Pickford, Martinez, and Shemichael featured. I've added Czech, I've added Courtois. And I tell you what, right now it's neck and neck between these two for me. I did enjoy Courtois, actually. I was using him a fair bit. And Martinez... I hate playing against him when I use them. A little bit questionable, but most people tend to have this man in their sticks right now. But for me, it is any of these five. Casillas is also an honourable mention, but at the end of the day, goalkeepers are subjective. Let me know who you're rocking down below. Right backs first then. And same old. Big Joe. I can't shake this man. And if you watch my reviews, you'll see me praising Big Joe for being the best right back in FC24. This man could do it all. Like, you would think he's going to be really solid in the defence, and you'd be correct. He is. He's got great play styles. He feels far, strong, and powerful. But overlapping, bombing forward. I have this man on balance. He's not a stay-back fullback. He is flying, getting goal contributions for me, and just doing everything. Even linking up the play with the pass, and he could do it. Really, really solid option. Also, Reese James, the footy's objective. Fantastic. A nightmare to play against. Currently, right now, I think he's my most hated. He's just so physical. And... Knowing how good I think it was an ultimate birthday card early on in the game cycle was, this footies was inevitably going to be phenomenal. He's also similar in the way that he's got serious power and a bit of stockiness to his build, which makes him even more annoying to get past. So he's definitely in my top five. Cafu, still definitely in the top five. Will he get a footies? Will EA drop a 99 rated footies Cafu? I've got a feeling they might, because he probably was one of the most popular fullbacks throughout this game cycle, especially that base icon. It was during Team of the Year, I'm pretty certain, so most of us have crafted him. This version, still fantastic. Maybe, just maybe, leaning a little bit to potentially being replaced soon with some other options, but for now, brilliant option. Carl Walker, once again, similar kind of like mold here. I like the more physical, powerful but also able to carry the ball forward and contribute going forward fullbacks. That tends to be what I look for right now. Left backs, kind of a different story we'll see shortly. But Carl Walker, powerhouse, speed star. It's Carl Walker, mate. You know he's overpowered on this game. And to round it off, the brand new Jeremy Frimpong. The play styles, by the way. I can't think of much better for me in this position. Intercept, whip pass, ping pass, quick step. 5-5, five, five, the dribbling, the speed. Overlapping, he is a demon. He can score goals. Like, he's, oh, he's just got everything you need, man. Absolutely insane right back. Left back, still number one is Teo. And let me stress this again. These are my top five. My top five. Not the top five in the game. If it was top five in the game, you would just see some absolutely ridiculous cards in every single section, which you probably will, to be fair, because I've got a pretty crazy team on this account. But Teo Hernandez, I don't have his other version but you could just assume that one's going to be better, right? But for me right now, I'm still rocking this card, the team of the season. He is phenomenal for me. He has everything you need to be just the, like basically a box-to-box -box left back. Like defending, he's crazy cracked. With the jockey play style plus, I love it. Going forward, hitting the line with the pure speed, you step over and stride, he flies. Really, really nice option. But of course, his team of the tournament probably is better. Not yet rated, right? Rolfo is back. By the way, running trend they drop a crazy nice footies card, and Evo might follow, right? So if you still got that Fantasy FC card kicking about in your club, don't use it for fodder. Keep her in there, because an Evo might follow. And if it does, I'm in dreamland. Slide tackle's a bit, you know, meh. If that was like a, uh, a quick step, partnered with whip pass, first touch, and jockey. Pfft, look at the card, man. Look at the card. Could do a job in that left side of center mid-roll as well, but as a left back, you've got all you need, man. She's a demon. Still, still in here, full of Mendy. To be fair, left backs haven't changed so much, apart from the addition of Rolfo. Uh, the other three are exactly the same, so I'll keep this one short. Full of Mendy, 
Still crazy, crazy crap. Cat the Villa, big, big fan of him. Uh, and then King Kai. Still to this day, this team of season Havis card is very much usable at left back. And he won't get a freeze. Or maybe he will. I'm pretty certain he had a team in the tournament, right? He's got a 97 rated card floating about there. But this man can still do it all. There's some crazy nice Evos actually for Havertz. The left back option. So if you've got one of those, GG, sick card. And then of course these two are just crazy good. Center backs then. My two that I run right now. Rudy and Ronald. This man is undoubtedly my favorite center back in this game. He's so, so solid. And long ball pass, crazy nice to have for that center back, just for spreading the play. And it's important, especially of how dangerous press is right now, 100 depth. They bleed to whip like a pass, I don't know, 40 yards across the pitch. Ronald can do that. He's got great passing stats, speed, power. If you watch my reviews, he's in every one of them. Same with Rudy. They're both fantastic. The aerial presence of this man is crazy important because Ronald's lacking that. He's got the base, but... I think you definitely need a playstyle plus aerial threat card alongside him. High high work rates, I don't mind it. He's physical or get involved. I like definitely overcommitting with this man. And then Big Ronald is lurking behind for the cleanup. Now, if I could have any three center backs on this game, it'd be a combination of these guys right here. Saliba, Virgil, and the brand new footies icon, Rio Ferdinand, is a joke. Jockey, long ball, anticipate power header. If only it was aerial instead of power header. I guess you can't make him that overpowered, right? But the reactions, the composure, the speed, just the, the, the aura in game. I hate that word, but you know what I mean? There are certain icons have that special feel in game. Rio is one of them, and this has to be one of the best center backs in the game right now. Saliba and Virgil. I don't need really to go into detail. They're both a sick joke, man. Saliba, by the way, like, look at the playstyle pluses. Anticipate jockey, aerial, and slide tackle. Press proven. Imagine a partnership of... Uh, you know, two of these three. It'll be game over. The number one CDM in this game for me right now is Yaya. This boy Torre can move. He is the ultimate CDM. Even more of a box to box as well. He can play both roles, but for me, he is that defensive midfielder in the 4 3 2 1. He's 6 2 4 5. Great play style plus is the only card to have that combination, by the way. The ability to play crazy incisive passes and also break up the play with the long legs, the intercept, anticipate and bruiser partnered with the 99 physicals. He's uh, he's end game man. And I honestly would say he is almost a must do SPC depending on your midfield. Of course, if you don't have a big bruiser in there like a Patty Vieira at Torre, this guy should be a card you're looking at. Fantastic for the price. Valverde, once again, being one of my favorites like the game cycle was team of the season. Big, big fan of it. His gold at the start of the game. Yes, rocked it for way too many games. He's just crazy. He's everywhere. So, so solid. Gets stuck in. Rapid anticipated jockey is mad underrated on this card as well. As ping pass. Ping pass. So, so important. You need at least one or two midfielders, I reckon, that have this playstyle plus in your team. Just to progress the ball quick and direct. I say it, with press and 100 depth, there's barely any space in the game right now. So the ability to play a crazy accurate pass with Pink Pass Plus, it's overlooked, man. Long ball, of course, very nice as well. And for the price, he's not that crazy expensive. So decent option. Big Tony is still, in my opinion, one of the best in the game. He's got everything you need. A little bit slow, potentially. He might get caught on the ball, but honestly, he can move. And great play star pluses as well to back that up. Ramirez. I tried him as a box-to-box. -box. Didn't really click with me. I don't know what it was. The dribbling maybe let me down a little bit. As a CDM, just breaking up the play, he's got it. And I was scoring some great goals with the boy as well. I wish we had five-star weak foot. That'd be much better. But slide tackle... Little bit, you know, man, could be like a jockey that would be better on anticipate. Or even a press proven play style plus on this card would definitely elevate him. But really, really nice. And to be fair, as a super sub as well, he could do a stint at fullback. You could play him as a right back, a left back, he'd be fine there. Decent option and still really, really cheap. And last but not least, if only this man was 5-5 five, five, or 4-5 or something, Kamavinga. Love this team this season. This card is just a joke. A lot of people playing him left back. I don't mind it. He could definitely do a job there. But for me, you want him in the CDM because the, the ability to go forward, link up the play and carry the ball in difficult situations. He's got the base press proven and technical. It's underrated and he is really, really nice on the ball. Physical as well. Occasionally, he doesn't really feel like he's got super burst, like blistering speed, but still a phenomenal, phenomenal card. Now, box to box center midfielders or just out and out center mids. Luca is top. Top for me, S+. He's him, man. 5-5 five, five with just a great combo of playstyle pluses. 
feels crazy meta in game. And I just love Luca this year. His road to the knockout, was it road to the knockout? The 92 or 93 rated one? Crazy, crazy nice. And he was obviously going to get a footies at some point. Uh, they dropped that really disappointing SBC at some point. I think it was a team of the year, honorable mention, or team of the season. I can't remember exactly. Either way, he got his SBC. And for me, he is my favorite right now. Enzo wasn't a massive fan of him at the start. But ping pass, anticipate, relentless, press proven, 5-5. Five, five. He is very, very similar to a lot of these midfielders. Like, I would say I can't really, like, you know, separate these four. Modric's in the league of his own here. But all five of these are ridiculous and very, very similar kind of builds and molds in game. Enzo, 5'10", crazy, crazy nice on the ball. Press Proven Plus is beautiful. And then the ping pass, big, big fan of it. Pedri. You know what? I've packed Pedri a stupid amount of times. I think I've had him three or four times. I'm not even joking. Like, and he, this, at the time I was packing him, he was a good three, 400, 500k at the time. He's five star, five star. I think what kind of makes me think maybe he's not as good as the others is lack of press proven, lack of ping pass. Doesn't really have a crazy, like, lethal shot. He scores goals, but it's not really reliable. He's more of like a ball carrier and just crazy nice passing. Like, the first time passing with Tikataka, Taka, really, really good. Rapid technical plus as well. Fantastic option. Vitinha, very, very similar to Modric, but Modric definitely edges it for me. Love the power shots. They're crazy, crazy clinical. He feels great on the ball, even without technical quick step or rapid. Base press proven definitely helps. A fantastic, fantastic card. Five star, five star as well. Mad. And then Bon Matty. I can't believe, by the way, she's not 5'5. Five five. I think that's crazy. She's only five foot three, right? But the height doesn't matter. She pops up, she gets involved making interceptions. Power shots, she's got them. Finesse as well. Just brilliant, brilliant on the ball. It's essentially glued to her feet with the dribbling. The ultimate link up, box to box center mid. But let me know if you've got any of these five and if I'm missing any. Because I honestly, I could just chop a change from these guys and I'll be absolutely loving it. All right then, cams. I don't normally do cams, but this could basically be the more attacking midfielder in a 4 3 2 1, or just an out and out center attacking mid. For me, this man's number one, Dybala. For the price as well, it was a steal. Five star, five star. Finesse, technical, pinged, and flair. Flair, obviously, not ideal. If that was first touch, or maybe even a quick step or a rapid, we'd be dreaming. But it's a mad card. Like He's so, so good. The finesse shots are dangerous. Ping pass and technical. He's the ultimate link-up player. Could do a job in the center forward role as well in a 4-3-2-1. Big, big fan of Paolo. Zinedine up next. There's times when me and Zidane, we don't see eye to eye, man. He feels a little bit clunky, a little bit stocky. And I wasn't the biggest fan of his other versions, but not yet rated. Okay, yeah, pretty crazy. Worth an absolute ton. He is in a league of his own. There's not many players like him with this kind of power and also precision when it comes to the dribbling. Like you can speed and also do the controlled sprint and no one's bullying him. It's so hard to move this man. He breaks up the play defensively, but just have him sat in that cam roll, pinging passes, scoring screams with the finesse shots. He'll have a field day. Brilliant option. Judy, Judy, Judy. 5-5 five, five was needed. And this man definitely could tick the box as like a box-to-box -box center mid, but I'll be using him more attacking because the shooting's crazy. The dribbling. He still has that weird animation, by the way, where you control sprint or step over and his neck like goes back. I don't know if you guys see it, but he's had it since the game. I don't know if he has it in the real world. I'm pretty sure he doesn't, but it keeps <laughs> throwing me off every time I play against him or use him. Acrobatic, of course, it was going to be in there considering his crazy goal, but a little bit wasted, I guess. Could be fun, but fantastic base play styles. And once again, one of the best in the game. Underrated shout is this, man. Chip shot's not ideal, but finesse, ping pass, incisive, just a demon. And I play against him a lot. A lot of people are rocking him as a striker, as a center forward. And I can see it because you're crazy, crazy accurate at the passing. You're scoring goals. He's fast. He could chat back and up out in the defense. For the price, really good option. And last but not least, you probably were not expecting to see this man. Big boy Dirk. Six foot tank. He's the powerhouse. He's, I just want to have a bit of fun, man. Like He scored some crazy financials to him as well. Probably a few on the review I did. Power header. Yeah, not great, but incisive and technical. He honestly is. I mean, it's not it's technically free, but it's a bit of a time sink. A really nice option still at this stage. These are my top five cams. We'll hit up the wingers next. Bakayo Saka. I honestly wish I had used this man more as an out-and-out -out winger, center forward, attacker, more than a box-to-box -box center mid, because so, so good. The speed, the dribbling, 5-5. Five, five. 
the playstyle plus combination, deadly. I would say he might even be up there as probably not the top 5 players in the game, but maybe even top 10. I kid you not, he is that good in this game. What's his price? I'm going to ruin it by showing you the right wingers here. How expensive is he? Yeah, okay. Super rare, 3 mil plus, bargain at 3 mil. Big Gary up next. Wasn't a massive fan when I used him first. Took me a little while to get used to him, but just utilizing the, the ball carrying ability he has... Crazy, crazy good. Link up players there as well. Finishing, honestly, wasn't too bad. Pops up in the box, he'll score goals for you. And even tracking back, cutting in, playing that more like um, right mid roll, he could definitely help out there. Kylian Mbappinho for me is definitely more of a right sided centre forward winger at the moment. Could still be an out and out striker, but I've got better options up there. Still, always going to be end game. When he came out, it was end game. He's going to be end game until the end of games. Of course, he has a team of tournament card with the mask, which is going to be better. But still, to this day, this team of the season, Mbappe, is ridiculous. Alawara up next. Toss up between him and Garincha. I think both are maybe as good as each other, but in different areas. This man, more similar to Mbappe, that he's got that long stride, the step over stride, cut in, finesse it, finesse it. Finesse it, top bins, or take your opponent to the byline, utilize the five star skills and the trick star playstyle plus. Really fun option, but once again, it's a grind. And then last but not least, my number one, if possible, is Caroline Graham Hansen. Like, I remember the first time I used a gold card on this game. Oh my days. There's a short on my channel. I scored like a, a 30 yard screamer with her, right? Since then, I was hooked. Her trailblazer, all of that was mad. Look at the stats. She's 5'5". Five, five. Playstyle pluses, like Tick Attacker, I like Whip Pass, First Touch. They're not amazing, but she's got fantastic base playstyles. And of course, the finesse shot is all you need. Just the ultimate, ultimate right winger for me. Let me know what you think down below, though. Some crazy, crazy options here. Let's flip it over to the left-hand side. And straight away, I bet you were not expected to see this man. Timo Werner as a left-sided player. Oh, mate, he's good. Five style week for just stride. You literally run down the wing, cut in, shoot. Power shot, just put your foot for it. You're going to score screamers. Flick up volleys are there. Great play styles. First touch, wrapping, and technical is a combo that is dangerous with a card like this. Because he feels like one of the quickest cards in the game. You take the ball down, you stride, you've got speed, control sprint, you can sprinkle it in there. Ball carrying is phenomenal, even with like, the lack of agility and balance. Of course, we're going to boost that with the finisher, Ken, but absolute demon. Like, if you've done him or not, is he still available as an SPC? I don't know. Maybe consider it because he's mad. Marcus Rashford up next. I'm picking Vern over Rashford, by the way. All day, every day. Fine style, which is nice. Acrobatic, not great, but similar kind of roles here, I think. You just want to be a speedster. Running down the wing, cutting in, causing havoc. And Rashford's a brilliant, brilliant option for that. Luis Diaz. I've dropped him now, but... As of like a couple of weeks ago, before I started unlocking all these footies cards, he was crazy, man. Finesse, press proven, rapid, 5-5. Five, five. What an SBC, by the way. They went so far in the tournament that he got juiced and uh, I was gassed to have him, as well as Big Darwin. I've got the Founders Evo, by the way, that I was wishing would be somewhat similar, but there's no point. Oh, by the way, let me just touch on this. My hype for the early game Evos for FC25 is... It's through the roof, man. I am buzzing to get started on that game. And it's not that long away now. It is next month. The release is a little while. It's about a month and a half away, but that's not that long. Time flies. Darwin, though. Let's get back on track. Still fantastic. A little bit more physical, a little bit bigger, but really, really good cutting on the left-hand side with the finesse shots and power shots, press proven and rapid. And last but not least, the ultimate left winger for me is Neymar. Trickster, great fun with this card. Finesse, yes. Whip pass, a little bit, you know, wasted. Could be something better. But quick step with 5-5. Five, five. Imagine if you had technical playstyle plus. Oh, my days. He's got Neymar vibes, bro. That's it's, it's that. Every Neymar version, every card he gets, has just that little extra sauce sprinkled on top. And just imagine owning that card. Last but not least, strikers. And obviously, number one for me is the big man. Erling Haaland. Five star, five star, six five with aerial, press proven, rapid and finesse. What a card, man. 
The grind to get in was crazy. Since I've unlocked him, I've not been playing as much. Obviously, I've been taking a little bit of a backseat, resting up, ready for the new game. But still, bro, he is mad. And I'm getting annoyed that more people are getting him now because I was playing Elite Division, like nine something skill rating. And every single game was this man. He was in there every single time. As soon as they're doing finesse shots of Haaland, you know you're in trouble. And he's just, yeah, the end game striker. Probably the best free card this year, hands down. Close second, though, is uh, Ferran Puskas here. Still really, really solid. Like, some people didn't really get on with him, but I don't see it. Like, this an absolute demon. I love the body type of game. I think it works really well alongside a big player like Erlin for the flick-ons and stuff like that. The link-up player you can do. Finesse shots are mad. He's got base power shot as well. Technical, rapid, press proven. He's a brilliant, brilliant option. And then I've got these two involved, Samuel Eto and Butragueno. I wanted to give my opinion a little bit after trying them both, uh, both out. Eto and also Butra. I think Butra was a little bit cheaper. Eto was definitely more on the premium side. And if I could pick one, I probably am still leaning towards Samuel. I still think he fits my playstyle more. But that's not and taken away from this man because the amount of times I've been annihilated by him in recent weeks, it's getting up there. Butcher can move different and also score ridiculous goals. Base power shot as well, he doesn't have. I actually remember that as well in the review. Um, I remember taking a power shot. It took five years to take it, but he did it. And it flew top bins in like 40 yards. So still definitely ping him. There's no harm in it. But that would have been a nice addition to have. Whilst Eto has, of course, the gold. And I think ping pass, finesse, power shot, and quick step. I think I'm just about leaning towards that combination more. But still technical first touch, quick step. With press proven. Both ridiculous. Let me know who you deserve, prefer down below. And then sneaking in out of nowhere. Shock surprise, Julian, the man himself, Julian Alvarez. Just apparently be linked to Fletka Majib for like 90 million, which is a big price tag, but he definitely warrants it. Ridiculous card as well. Like, he is, I honestly would say, maybe even as good as Butra. If we're 5-5, five five, then there's definitely a conversation to be had. I think he's crazy underrated. The dribbling, the shooting, the speed... He literally has everything you need to play an out-and-out -out striker role. He can link up the play as well. Play him as a secondary striker. You're going to fly. Lack of technical quick step is not needed. you got press proven first touch and rapid. Crazy, crazy nice card. And he's only like 800k, which is an absolute steal for a striker like this. But let me know your thoughts down below. I've been Morsi. Subscribe if you know. I hope you enjoyed the top five players in each position throughout the game cycle. This will, of course, be back come FC25. So... I'm hyped for it. I hope you are too. Enjoy the rest of your day. Catch you later.